Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Supper City Training Center. My name is Jason here at Supper City, and we've got our top heavy anaerobic breather coming your way. Or you need a wall to use today. I'll need a pull up bar, maybe some dumbbells, and also something to bike on. An air bike is what we'll be utilizing to get that high anaerobic threshold met. Now, we'll be exercising five wall walks, then we're going to 10 pull ups, and then 15 thrusters. As soon as we're done there, we're going right into that bike for 20 cows. And you got five rounds of this today, so you, so you can see where the anaerobic breather comes into play. Let's talk about some of this top heavy work we'll be doing. As I mentioned, we begin with our wall walk. Now, this is a challenging movement for you. You got some modifications that'll be available for you. You can watch in the uh, detailed version after this video. But I'll start my position here, lying flat on the ground. My palms are gonna be on the floor. My feet are braced up against the wall. I'm gonna start on this nice push up, and I start to walk my feet up the wall, as that name and the movement suggests. Now, the big focus here is keep my arms nice and straight because my feet slip down the wall. And then I bring my feet right back down, all the way down. And you take this push up again. Push right back up. Getting the feet walking. Now notice my arms. I want to keep them nice and straight. I don't want to bend in the elbows. It's going to bring a lot more energy into my arms and shoulders than I want. I want to keep the energy in the uh, upper chest, the intercostals of the rib cage, all the torso muscles. So then I get five there. I'm upside down. Then we go into our pull-ups. Finding ourselves on a pull-up. Now we're going to have a wall walk. We have ten pull-ups. Now I'm going to do either a kicking pull-up, get the chin up. Push away from the bar all the way to the top. We can also windmill. Coming through, hips are involved, getting that good over grip to the top side of that pull up. You got 10, and then we go right into our dumbbell thruster. So here I am with my dumbbells for the thrusters. Gentlemen, it's a 35 pound weight load prescription. Ladies, you're at 25. Some big ticket features here. Making sure we get our hips down below the knee line, accelerating through those hips. Notice my elbows are locked up above and behind the ears, all the way down. Drive them back up, right back down, right back up. We got 15 reps here. You feel a lot of the core support that movement, especially when you're burying that butt deep in the squat portion of that thruster. As soon as you get 15, right on over to our air bike. Okay, so I've just finished out those 15 thrusters. Now we go immediately into a 20 cal bike run. All right, get the legs driving. Not wasting a lot of time either. Using the thrusters in your bike. Get right into it. Start pushing and pulling with the upper body. Driving the legs into the pedals, my hips and glutes racing in the seat. We got a 20 cal bike right here. This is just the first round. All right, so you got through your first round, you got four to go. It's a five rounder here each round. Five of the wall walks, 10 of our pull ups, 15 of those thrusters, 20 of our air bike. It's calories here. Continue through those five rounds, push the pace. It's not going to be easy. As you're able to see, each and every one of those movements is going to be demanding. And then this 20 cal bike ride, it will take you to the brink. All right, but stay mentally focused. Commit yourself. You can do this. Until next time, my name is Jason. Go be great. Now, this is a training session that is not going to challenge just your arms, your body, and your breathing. It's also going to challenge your integrity. There's going to be a point during this training session where maybe you want to do one less or two less reps than are prescribed. Or maybe instead of doing that last round, let yourself off the hook and take the easy route out. Let me encourage you in this moment to not do that. Hey, maybe it takes you longer than you wanted it to. Hey, maybe you're with some buddies and you're the last one done with this workout. That's okay. Doing everything to full value is far more important than ever being the first one done. Now, take that into consideration for this session, but also for every session you have going forward. Do not shortcut yourself, especially when it's getting hard. Those are the moments where you overcome. That's where you teach yourself how to push through the discomfort and become the person you're ultimately aiming to become. All right, so stay the course right here. Again, my name is Jason. Go get him. See you next time.